Welcome to Where Else, a program that shows you where else to live. Today we're in the Seattle area. Seattle offers some of the most interesting and innovative places to live. Our first stop today, Bainbridge Island. Bainbridge Island is spectacular by nature, a quaint seaside town surrounded by breathtaking vistas. I'm sitting here with Dennis Page, founding director of Real Logic Sotheby's International Realty. So Dennis, this is the first time I've ever been here and I'm already impressed coming over the ferry, coming into your beautiful location. Can you tell me a little bit more about why Bainbridge is so special? Oh, sure. Thanks, Rosa, first of all, for being here. And it is. It's an amazing, as you can kind of see as you came in from the ferry, it's probably one of Seattle's best kept secrets, just literally 30 minutes from downtown and yet has this amazing small town atmosphere that is just everything you could ask for as far as a place to live, waterfront, amazing school district. Recently CNBC had it ranked as the top island enclave in the United States. So I think you'll enjoy seeing what Bainbridge is all about. Well then, we are on to the next place. This is the heart of Bainbridge right here. You have everything that you would want in a big city right here in our quaint little town. We've got art galleries, we've got organic grocery stores, we've got a lot of little mom and pop shops, and it's really, first and foremost, a great place to raise a family. Mm -hmm. And now you live here as well, correct? I do, I do. I have two girls and we have a great community here that we really enjoy. Well, after seeing what you guys have to offer on Winslow Way, I can't wait to tour one of your beautiful waterfront listings. Hi, Carlene. Now this is living. It's amazing. Rosa, welcome. Dennis said I could be expecting you. Wanted to bring you here. This is our backyard. He was right. This is extraordinary. I was able to tour not just one, but several properties and styles, including Northwest Contemporary, Modern, European, Craftsman, and a range of price points from the nostalgic heirloom mansions worth millions to affordable condominiums just moments from Winslow and the ferry terminal. There's truly something for everyone on Bainbridge Island. But in the end, I'm drawn back to the waterfront. A visit to Bainbridge Island would not be complete without talking about the lifestyle here. I'm here with Sonia Jones. She's not only a broker, but also an avid boater. That's right, Rosa. As a matter of fact, my husband and I moved here to Bainbridge Island because of our boating lifestyle, and we consider Bainbridge to be a gem in the middle of Puget Sound, and we also consider Puget Sound to be the best boating waters in the world. We love that we can leave our house and in 10 minutes mm -hmm. be on our boat and pulling out into Puget Sound, into Elliott Bay, and sometimes we get to see the whales when we're out there. And it's, it's a pretty oh magical goodness. place to be. In fact, I would love to take you on a boat ride next time you come to our island. As a matter of fact, I actually have to go catch a boat myself. <laughs> I could have stayed on Bainbridge Island all day, but we're off to the big city to tour some of those glimmering condominiums in the skyline. First up, 1521 Second Avenue, where every home is a penthouse. I'm here at 1521 Second Avenue, Seattle's premier condominium tower. This is Sandy. Sandy, can you tell me why you guys have been so successful? It is the premier tower on the West Coast, and that's for several reasons. One of which is our amazing views, as you can see, uh -huh. and they are protected views. We purchased our view easements. We have all larger homes in the building. There's nothing smaller in the entire building than 1,644 square feet. Every home is a minimum of a two bedroom, two bath, and every home in the building has a view of the water, which is just unheard of, regardless of which side of the tower it's on. Every home. Every home. Not only is this place impressive, but what a location. You guys are right here in the heart of Seattle. It is quite spectacular. We're right in front of the Pike Place Market. We're also directly in front of where the new waterfront park is going to be. And we have over 100 restaurants within three blocks, so everything really is right here. So Sandy, I really have to see more of this beautiful home. Wonderful, let's go. Okay. At more than 3,000 square feet, there's no compromises in this Sky Palace. I was struck by the architectural faceting of the tower, revealing dramatic vistas of the city and the Space Needle. This particular home includes a private rooftop terrace more than 400 feet above the street below.
All homes feature an inventive glass room, an indoor-outdoor space that allows residents to enjoy this amenity in all seasons. This location is premier, and it's going to get even better with the removal of the Alaskan Way Viaduct. The Seattle waterfront is being transformed into a world-class seaside embarcadero, with more than nine acres of parks and a seamless connection from the Pike Place Market to Elliott Bay. It's just another benefit of being front and center at 1521 2nd Avenue. Looking for more of a resort lifestyle in the city center? We've got your address. Here we are in the heart of downtown Seattle. With a location as convenient as this, no wonder they named the Tower All of Eight. Let's go check it out. Perched high above the retail and entertainment district, All of Eight offers enviable amenities and contemporary living. It's just an elevator ride away from all that downtown Seattle has to offer. Hi, you must be Julie. Hi, thank you. Welcome to Olive Eight. Thank you. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was distracted by all the great window shopping. Some of my favorite shops are just right around this location. And not only are we a great location, we're an in-city resort. Can you explain to me a little bit more about the in-city resort? We are on top of the Hyatt Hotel. You can have all the amenities of the hotel. You can have room service. We also have a fabulous fitness center and a spa. We have a 65-foot lap pool, jacuzzi, steam, and sauna. And I really invite you to experience it. Well, invitation accepted. After a busy morning, I was happy to get in a quick workout. And who would pass up an opportunity for some pampering at the Alea Spa? After a quick dip in the pool, I was off to my manicure and a little foot soak. I could really get used to this lifestyle. But we've got a busy afternoon, so it's time for our next address. I'm standing here in front of the sanctuary, Seattle's most unique project. Next to me is Kevin Henchett. Kevin, can you tell me how you got involved in this project? Yes, uh, my company was appointed by the bank to come in and help a developer who had stalled out on this project. It is a 1906 church that's been mm. converted into 12 residential townhome units. They managed to keep the original architectural features. Wow. We have now completed that influence and carried it throughout the whole project with finished work, with art, with furnishings. And so we can really demonstrate to people the true potential for when they want to move into this project. Oh, I'm so excited to see the inside. Can you show it to me? Certainly, come on. All right. I'm here at the sanctuary with Evelyn. Evelyn, this project is amazing. Can you tell me what your role was? My husband and I own Alchemy Collections. We are a furniture store in downtown Seattle. We specialize in modern contemporary home furnishing. We're in the major condominium showrooms in downtown Seattle, but this one was very unique. There's nothing like it on the market. The trick was to not take away from the existing elements, but enhance it and make it a little bit more livable. How would you describe living in the sanctuary? It's like a museum. So walking through the project, I can't help but notice how amazing the artwork is. I'm standing here with Betsy Featherston. She's the art curator of the Sanctuary Project. Betsy, can you tell me a little bit more about the art? Well, working in a space like this, it's very much like a museum. I mean, the combination of the tall ceilings, the historical factor of the building, and then the way they've done the reuse of a building like this with the modern touches. It's been a wonderful project to work on, bringing in artists from throughout Seattle for the most part, and ones that tie into the history of Seattle as well as the history of this building. Well, you've done a great job. Can you show me more of the art that's around here? Sure. All right. One. Awesome. Robin Chell, interior designer of the Sanctuary Project. This must have been divine inspiration. Well, it was quite easy. We took our cues from the architecture, and obviously it's an, a hundred-year-old amazing heirloom property that we were just inspired by the details of the building and so inspired that we were able to keep some of the existing building materials and reclaim and repurpose them. So we tried to find ways to create counterpoints to the historical elements. You'll see a lot of industrial materials and modern design to create a harmony with the architecture and the exterior. So right behind you I noticed that there's a private terrace 
Can you uh, show me that? We should go have a glass of wine and check it out. You'll, oh, yeah. I'd love to show you some of the features on the exterior as well. Well, let's go. I'm always up for a glass of wine. Great. <laughs> okay. Stepping outside, I was reminded of properties I toured in Manhattan in Europe. The sandstone detailing, the history. Like any masterpiece, each home is an original. Today we've toured from sea to sky. We visited Bainbridge Island, a storybook lifestyle just 30 minutes from downtown Seattle. We went sky high to the award-winning 1521 Second Avenue, above the Pike Place Market, where every home is a penthouse. Then to the in-city resort lifestyle at All of Eight, where robust amenities and central location make service an address. And who could forget the sanctuary, an inspired development that's been a century in the making. With so many diverse options to choose from, I'm torn on where I'd live, so I think I'll organize my thoughts back at Olive 8 with a cocktail at the lobby bar. Until next time, I'm Rosa Mercer for Where Else, exploring exciting new places and extraordinary ways to live. <laughs>